Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Thank you again for tuning in. I'm your host, Steven. Today I'll be talking about the, uh, finally, the release of True Lies on 4K and Blu-ray. Um, the process, the remastering process, was overseen by James Cameron himself. He has mentioned over time it's going to take a long time to happen. We've waited a long time for some of these movies. It's this, The Abyss and Aliens. I haven't gotten Aliens, but I do have The Abyss. I'll review that in another another uh, time. But for this one, for True Lies, I watched it. I watched the 4K yesterday. I didn't watch the Dolby Atmos, so I can't tell you about that. What I can tell you is what it looks on the inside. Two disc set. I like the way the box looks. I'm I enjoyed the I enjoyed this. I will tell you how they just talk about you know DNR. There's AI involved. So what I found online was for its release on Ultra HD. Lightstorm, working with Park Road Post, has built a new 4K digital intermediate. Using recent 4K scans of the original camera negative, the footage has been optimized by Park Road's proprietary deep learning algorithms. So photochemical grain has been greatly reduced, though not eliminated entirely, while fine detail has been enhanced algorithmically. Okay, that sounds really nice and impressive. Watching it is a whole different story. Uh, I don't have Dolby Atmos, like I said, so I watch 5.1. I was happy with the sound. No problem there. The film is an uneven watching experience, in my opinion, because there's certain parts where it's vivid and colorful. You can see Schwarzenegger's stubble. You can see his shirt is ripped from one of the fight scenes. It's clear, it's crisp, it sounds great. You hear the bullets going by, and then it gets dull, waxy looks on these guys. There's a scene where Arnold throws Tom Arnold, uh, or Arnold Schwarzenegger throws Tom Arnold against the car when he finds out, or he thinks his wife is having an affair. And they both look like action figures. It looks like a segment, if anybody knows Robot Chicken, where they take the dolls. So at some points you kind of go, what am I watching? It's like they took, they went back and James Cameron did some reshoots recently and put it in there and said, okay, this is how it should look now. It doesn't look like 1994, which I think a lot of people are complaining about. It's that waxy look at certain instances and that grainy look was part of the charm of the movie. So that in some parts that it's eliminated totally, giving that waxy fake look to the characters can really piss people off. So there's times where you go, oh yeah, I remember this movie. It looks, oh my god, this looks amazing. There's a scene in the in the bathroom where Schwarzenegger is fighting the terrorists. That looks amazing. One, of, it looks fantastic. And this thing, it just dulls down, and you're like, what happened? Like they went whoop whoop, and you're, like, it's noticeable. So it becomes, like I said, it's an uneven experience visually, anyways. So if you can get past that. This is, I mean, I think there's a Spanish version where the Blu-ray is like a red box and then I have the DVD somewhere. So are we going to get something else? I doubt. It took years for James Cameron to get his way for this. So will, is he going to do this again next year and fix it? No, I doubt it. This is the best we're going to get. I think it's a great improvement over the DVD. But like I said, it varies from scene to scene which can piss people off or, and remove you from immersing yourself into this experience or into this movie. So I think it's going to be one of these movies I have to watch three, four times and go, okay, now it's part of it and I'll get used to it, you know? Like the first time you'll be, if you're if you are visually inclined, like a lot of guys who are into the fine details, you will notice this instantaneously. You'll go, oh my God, there, there, and there. Oh my God, what happened to the color? What happened to that car? Why is this sheen like the limousine part there's a sheen on it that was like i'm like what what happened there if you're if you catch these things you'll, you'll see what i mean if you're not really going to pay attention to that it's a great experience but like i said for a lot of guys who are going to notice these things if you're going to nitpick you you can you can find a lot of stuff on here so i said for me it's an uneven experience still i'm picking as i want the physical copy and this is like We've been waiting years for this. I want to show support for the physical medium. 
Um, but I was kind of hoping for something a little better. There is a nice documentary. I believe it's called Fear is Not an Option. And it's about 43 minutes long. It's pretty interesting. I liked it. There's not a lot of special features on here, but it's bare bones. But you know what? We got it finally on Blu-ray and 4K. And that's all I can ask for. You let me know what you think. Have you seen this? What do you think? Do you think it's uneven? I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. I'm really curious because I'm hearing a lot of reviewers saying that it's magic again. It's fantastic. Cameron is, you know, the, the master of 4K with this. And some people who are totally bummed at what they've seen. So I'm curious to what your standpoint is. I'm I'm finding it uneven, but I think it's a movie that I'm going to have to watch three, four times and get used to that change. And it's going to be part of the program kind of thing. Like when you watch the DVD, you know what you're getting into after all these years, right? Same. I think it's going to be the same thing for this. I'm not sure what James Cameron was thinking about when he did it this way, but you know what? He's Cameron and he brings in a lot of money with the avatars. So what he wants... Disney will provide and do it for him because he's the cash cow right now for these guys, you know, so, but that's my, my thing on this. You let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Share your thoughts with us. Um, I'll try to post the, the trailer down below or something. You let me know what you think of this. I'd love to hear from you. This is Steven from the Around Table with my initial thoughts on the 4K Blu-ray edition, the first time ever of the James Cameron 1994 action comedy true lies see you soon guys